All right, so let's dive into some AI truth that I'm gonna expose here. So the AI hype train is barreling full steam ahead, but the big question is, are we heading for a cliff? So you've heard the claims, AI is gonna replace programmers, put graphic designers out of work, and make human uh, creativity absolutely obsolete. Well, over two decades in the software trenches, and I've got some hard truths for you. So let's dive into this today because I'm gonna expose some big truths around AI. Welcome to Startup Pack. I'm Spencer Thomason. Here at Startup Pack, we train software developers in our licensed coding boot camps and build custom software solutions for companies. With a decade of executive leadership as a fractional CTO and 25 years in software development, I've mastered transforming tech teams and products. All right, so I've said for a long time that AI will not replace software developers, but a developer who knows how to use AI might replace you. So that being said, AI is definitely hitting some limits. We've hit walls with AI that no one wants to talk about, and especially not NVIDIA and all these other big CEOs that are trying trying to get money to build AI. So roadblocks that as developers, we need to make sure we understand because in, in classic startup pack fashion, we're gonna hack through the hype and expose what's really going on with artificial intelligence in 2023. So there's definitely a hype bubble going on here. And let's address the elephant in the room, the massive frothy, ready to pop AI hype bubble. Silicon Valley is whipped into a frenzy with every startup and their tech bros cousins touting their fancy new AI models and world changing breakthrough. Now here's the thing. Most of these grandiose claims, they're wild exaggerations than use salesman's car pitch, right? AI is undoubtedly powerful, but it's not the magical problem-solving wand many painted as to be. As developers, it's our job to make sure that we cut through the noise and focus on AI's practical, present-day capabilities. And I think a really good example of this is Tesla's full self-driving, right? If you look at a full self-driving, Elon Musk has been pr uh, promising that full self-driving would be delivered to us by the end of 2020 and that we'd have full robo taxis by the end of 2020. It's now into 2025 and I, and I love my FSD. Don't get me wrong. I'm a huge Tesla fanboy, and I'm very bullish on Tesla. But at the end of the day, I think we're still a ways from fully autonomous driving. Now, if they can't solve driving, what makes you think that they're going to be able to solve programming? programming, right? GPT, Lambda, Palm, large language models are all the rage, right? These marvels of machine learning can generate human-like text, converse somewhat coherently, and even spit out code snippets. But now I, I think that's neat, and I'm going to put that into air quotes, neat, but I'd say hold your applause. These models are undeniably cool, but they're essentially just stoic parrots, mimicking patterns in their training data with, without true understanding. They can't reason, analyze, or generate original ideas like a human can. So while they might help with some ba basic tasks, don't expect them to replace skilled programmers anytime soon. Uh, Linus Trevald, the founder of Linux, has called AI autocorrect on steroids. And I think that's a super accurate description. And if people like Linus Trevald, who is definitely one of the best minds in all of computer science, is saying this, I know I'm not alone. So let's go to another harsh reality check. AI is super expensive. Training these behemoth models costs hundreds of millions of dollars in computing resources. Even one trained running queries isn't cheap. AI's new uh, chat GPT, the O3 model, can cost up to $1,000 per query. Now, some companies, this may seem like pocket change, but $1,000 per query, this is gonna add up super fast, and I think this is where uh, OpenAI is gonna really start to hit some of the wall. They've been such on a dead sprint to try to prove that they can get to AGI that it's literally been at no, like at, with no thought toward expense. But we need to actually start and really, and I think in 2025, people are gonna finally start actually looking and saying, is this really worth it? Was that query really worth $1,000? Now, as developers, we need to weigh these costs carefully against potential benefits before hopping aboard the AI train. And this is starting to happen. I can tell you some real stories from real clients, but let me just tell you that people are pretty frustrated with the actual limitations on AI right now. Now, here's one of the fundamental flaws in AI today. It's only as good as the data we feed it. And let's be real, the data is often biased or incomplete or just plain wrong. Without careful human oversight, AI models can perpetuate human stereotypes 
or make terrible decisions or generate straight up dangerous outputs. So, because here's the problem. AI is not built to give you back a null or a false. If I'm writing a, a system and I have a search in it and I try to search something and it comes back without a value, I have to say there's nothing that came back in this value. If you Google search for something and if even Google can't find it, it does show you an empty page and says there's no results for the search, right? Or it shows you one or two obscure things, but says, hey, I didn't really find anything. But with AI, the biggest problem is, is that it's designed to actually feed you misinformation even when it knows it's wrong. And this is one of the core problems and the whole industry in AI does it. So it's our responsibility as developers to keep a watchful eye on the system and course correct when needed. We can't just set it and forget it and we can't keep selling AI's falsehoods as okay. I keep getting comments from everybody that tells me, oh, well, programmers are gonna be obsolete. Look, even the best coding uh, systems right now are ranking in about 15%, 15%. I don't know about you, but I don't ship code unless it's like six nines, right? And so unless this has been tested and been near perfect, I don't ship it. So sorry, 15% is nowhere near a level that I need to see. Now, one of the other biggest misconceptions about AI is that it can't be truly creative. It's just regurgitating. Models like Dolly can generate some interesting images, but they're not just conjuring anything new. They're remixing patterns from training data in novel ways. So true creativity, the kind that drives innovations and comes from humans, is human ingenuity. It's our imagination, intuition, and insights that spark breakthroughs. AI might augment that creative process, but it won't replace the human muse anytime soon. So let's talk about the 800 pound gorilla for us devs, AI generated code. Tools like GitHub Copilot promise to auto, -com uh, to auto complete functions and save us precious keystrokes. And that's great. I'm actually a big fan of these type of things, but we have to be super careful because the code these models generate is almost always buggy, it's definitely inefficient, and it lacks a lot of coherent architecture. It definitely can't look across the whole project and get things exactly right. As a seasoned developer, we know that there's a lot more to good code than just syntax. Um, uh, Stack Overflow's recent survey found that less than 3% of developers trust AI. This is There's a reason for this. You, it, being a good developer requires thoughtful design, rigorous testing, and iterative refinement, and it's skills that AI simply doesn't have. Could they get them in the future? I'm skeptical, because at the end of the day, AI is great for pattern matching, for analyzing large data sets, but let's be honest, People, if AI could really do what it was, what people are saying it's going to do, why are people like Elon Musk still hiring the brightest and best talent into his companies, right? So don't rely too heavily on these tools because it's a recipe for a maintenance nightmare if you do that. Now, another key limitation of AI is its lack of domain expertise. You can train a model on gigabytes of medical journals, but that doesn't make it a doctor. Real expertise comes from years of hands-on experience, critical thinking, and deep understanding of a field's nuance. For a developer, our domain knowledge allows us to build software and solve real problem. It allows us to do things what I call code smell, right? You'll be looking at something or I hear about a problem and I'm like, this smells of this, right? That's that human intuition, right? That's that domain knowledge that comes with us. No amount of data cramming can replicate that hard-earned, battle-tested wisdom and ability to just go with your gut. There's no gut on AI, right? AI simply can't match human intuition when it comes to understanding complex domains. Now, it's crucial to understand that today's AI is super narrow. It's trained for specific tasks like image recognition or language translation. And for that kind of stuff, I'm a huge fan of AI. I think we need to put AI into these lanes where it says, go do this. I'm a big fan of AI agents, right? But I think we're still light years from actual artificial general intelligence or AGI that can think and reason like humans. And everybody that I hear who's selling that we're close to AGI is selling something. And if you're listening to the CEO of NVIDIA or CEO of OpenAI, even Google or Microsoft, they're selling something, right? Look at the behind everything and there's a pitch, right? So while narrow AI can automate certain tasks, it won't replace the need for versatile developers who seek the big picture. We connect the dots across domains in ways no AI can. And if disparate systems are holding your company back, Startup Hack is here to help you integrate those seamlessly. So check out startuphack.com slash Spencer because we can help you out if you need some help. Now, as AI grows more sophisticated, human judgment becomes more critical than ever. Models can generate myriads of outputs, but it takes a discerning human eye to interpret those results. So is the output relevant? Is it 
it appropriate? Is it safe? Is it even decent? We developers must be the guardrails of responsible AI use. It's on us to consider the context, weigh the implications, and make the judgment calls that can shape how this tech impacts the world. We can't outsource the, sol the responsibility to the algorithms, right? Now, another major problem with AI is that it's a huge black box, right? And one of the ma major challenges, the modern AI is its opaqueness, right? Many models are inscrutably black box, meaning we see the inputs and the outputs, but we have little insight into what their inner workings do. This lack of transparency is, uh, is troubling, especially in high stake domains like healthcare or criminal justice. So as developers, we should push for more explainable, interpretable AI systems, models that can articulate the reasoning in terms humans can uh, can understand and critique. It's not just about building AI we can trust, but AI that can earn the public trust through radical transparency. Let me give you an example. I'm working with a client right now. They're using an AI tool. We fed it all their uh, documents, right? They had thousands of documents that were built over a decade. We fed them all into the AI, and then the AI interpreted these and would give them back. And it was firing in about the 70% range. We were getting accuracies around 70, 80%. But when it was wrong, we kept asking the vendor, hey, can you tell us how this is wrong and what document it's getting off so we can remove the document? And they couldn't. Even the vendor couldn't use their own LLM in such a way that they could actually tell us why it was wrong. And we're going to ditch the vendor, right? Because it just, that that's ultimately AI, the AI tool wasn't good enough. So despite these limitations, I'm super excited about AI's potential to enhance software development. I don't see it as a human replacement. I see it as a powerful tool for augmenting developer capabilities and to help augment process. Imagine an AI assistant that catches bugs or suggests optimizations and handles boring boilerplates, freeing us up to focus on higher level problem solving. For this example that I just gave, I would love to have an AI that can scan through and tell me which document the search most closely related to. I don't want it to give me, I don't want AI to give me the answer. I want it to help me find the answer. So the future isn't human versus AI, it's human plus AI. Uh, development where humans and algorithms work in tandem, leverage the ability and strengths of both. This is a symbiotic relationship that I believe is gonna define the next era of software development. And this is where I think the AI bubble is gonna go. I don't think it's gonna just pop and run away and everybody's gonna be like crypto and say, uh, you know, uh, AI is a mess. I think the rise of AI will only underscore the importance of continuous learning for us developers. The pace of change in our field is fast, it's breakneck, and we need to stay ahead of the curve. That means diving deep into new AI technologies, but also honing our timeless skills like systems thinking, problem solving, and clear communications. So the developer who can thrive in the age of AI will be one who will never stop growing, the one who approaches each new wave of tech with curiosity, not complacency. The ones who see AI not as a threat, but as, an uh, as a reason to level up their game should never stop. So keep going, don't ever stop learning, never stop pushing your boundaries, and never stop seeking new ways to create value in this incredible time we live. Now, what do you think? Do you agree? Do you disagree? Because I'd love to have a great discussion here at Startup Pack. So make sure you like and subscribe to the channel and leave a comment down below. Best compliment I can get is when you leave a comment down below. If you found this helpful, make sure you hit that like button and uh, and make sure you like and subscribe. Remember that Startup Pack, we train, we're all about training so world-class software developers and building custom edge custom software. So whether you're looking to level up your skills or you need a hand on a project hit us up links are down below and here's a, a big offer that we've got that we're offering for you now want to become a software developer but don't want to spend four years in college and rack up massive student loan debts think you need technical expertise to get started welcome to startup hack a better way to start your software career without student loans and years without income one-on-one -on -one tutoring is included so you never get stuck and have guidance through the whole process no technical experience is necessary learn at your own pace and in your own space Startup Hack has worked with local state agencies in your area to make it so that qualifying students can get the program costs covered entirely and students can start earning while they learn. Hi, I'm Jacob and I completed the full stack development course offered by Startup Hack. One thing setting Startup Hack apart from any other coding bootcamp was the quality of one-on-one -on -one tutoring available. All of the projects that we did were challenging and thought provoking, but left me feeling very accomplished and very prepared for my first job that I was offered just days after completing the program. Hello, I'm Tom, and I completed the full stack development course offered by Startup Hack. And I must say that it was an excellent experience. The tutors is what set this course apart from others. They were knowledgeable, experienced, and always available to help provide me with guidance and support. Do not hesitate to take advantage of this affordable and efficient software development course. 
complete our three month coding bootcamp, gain hands on experience, and land a paid internship. With two years of experience, on average, our graduates are making over $80,000 per year. The three month program includes technologies from Microsoft, Google, and Facebook. No debt, just a quick path to earning. Check out startuphack.com to code your future and start today.